Hey guys, too many times I've been asked by students, how do you solve a factor tree? They look at it and they think, whoa, what is this? It looks like it's something hard, but in fact, it's actually very easy. If you know your factors, you're going to notice factor tree is basically working out the factors of a number and writing down at the end the solution with the prime numbers that multiply one another to make that number right on top of the factor tree. Let's see how it works. You're going to notice, again, it's always very, very straightforward. Let's go. We want to know and we want to solve, using a factor tree, the prime numbers that multiply one another to make 12. Let's choose the factors 4 and 3. Now, whatever factors you choose, whether 4 and 3 or 2 and 6, you'll always get the same result down the bottom. So 4 and 3 are the factors of 12. Now we can see here that 3 is a prime number. So it's just 3. And 4 gets broken down because it is a composite number in 2 times 2. So we can see here, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. We have now broken down our factor tree and we have found the, the prime numbers that give us 12. So our answer is 2 squared times 3. 2 squared meaning 2 times 2 times 3. These are the prime numbers that multiply to get 12. We've just solved our first factor tree. How easy? Very easy. We look for the factors of 12, 4 and 3. 3 is a prime number. It goes straight down. 4 gets broken down again because it's a composite number. 2 times 2. Come down. 2 times 2 times 3. 2 squared times 3. Now also a tip. If you need to know the difference between prime and composite numbers, you can look at one of the lessons that we previously gone through, the difference between prime and composite numbers. But as you can see, very easy. We look for the factors of 12, and we go down and make sure we have the prime numbers, 2 times 2 times 3, 2 squared times 3. 30, once again, we look for the factors of 30. I'm going to choose... 6 times 5. 6 times 5. I want to break down. 6 becomes 3 times 2. And 5 is a prime number. So it's just 5 because it doesn't have any factors except 5 and 1. While 6 has 3 times 2. Now we notice this is a prime. This is a prime and this is a prime number. So our answer will be 3 times 2 times 5. 3 times 2 times 5 are the prime numbers broken down, times each other, multiply each other to make 30. We'll do one more and you'll get a better understanding. This is now 100. We want to know the factors of 100. Again, you can use 25 and 4, you can use 20 and 5, and you can use 50 and 2, any of the factors of 100. I'm going to choose to make it simple for me. 10 and 10. 10 times 10 make 100. I know that 10 is a composite number. It can be broken down even further, which is 5 and 2. And 10, same thing here. 5 times 2 is also 10. I've broken down the 100 into 10 times 10. I've broken down the 10. 5 times 2, 5 times 2. Now, I can easily see 5 times 2, 5 times 2, and to make it even simpler, 5 squared times 2 squared. So as you can see, we have our answer there, our answer there, and our answer there as well broken down. We have broken down. These are the factors of 100, the factors of 30, the factors of 12. They break down. This one doesn't need to break down. It's already broken down to a priming number, prime number, and this is composite number, prime, 
and composite comes down, comes down. Now here we have our prime numbers, our prime and our prime numbers, which we write in our final solution. 2 squared times 3 make 12. 3 times 2 times 5 are all prime numbers. They make 30. 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 make 100. These are the prime numbers. As you can see, solving a factor tree, if you know your times tables, if you know your factors, becomes way too easy. It's nothing to worry about. And as I always tell my students, if you know your times tables, don't cry, don't whinge. It's simple. Do it.